I've been loving all the beautiful weather lately. Like living in the Pacific Northwest, you almost never get sunshine. And it really makes me want to be outside more, doing more things. And for that reason, we are going to try to keep all this stuff short today so I can go outside and play with the soap and clay kidlets. But before we get into what pour we're doing today, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are here for 365 days of soap, and today we are making the orange mimosa. Now this is an ombre pour, a gradient ombre pour, that is fashioned after an orange mimosa, because we love them. Who doesn't love brunch? It's amazing. Now, this is a bar that I make for a wholesale account, and this is a palm-free bar. And we're gonna talk all about palm and what you can substitute in place of palm in your in your soaps if you want to go palm free right now let's go do the thing so today we are making the mimosa bar now this is a bar that i make for a wholesale account and in her particular line she goes uh, completely vegan which is great nice and easy but also completely palm free which is you know that's that's great you know, everybody needs to make their own decisions as far as to use or not to use palm. I personally love palm. I, of course, do make sure all of my palm oil is responsibly sourced. It's very easy to find responsibly sourced palm, in all honesty. So I'm sure that all soap makers at this point are, are using responsibly sourced palm. And um, there's there's more on that later. You know, they, one of the soap apprentices actually made her, the, her senior thesis on uh, palm oil and deforestation and all the things that come along with you know palm and it was a fascinating read and I you know agree with her completely with her you know end results and everything but again I guess palm oil is for another video the whole point with that was to let you know that this is a palm free batch now for the oils that go into the orange mimosa instead of palm we have coconut oil and babasu oil as well as some shea butter all very easy things to, you know, use. Uh, babasu is a really great and almost direct uh, substitution of palm, so that's always a good one to put in when you're going palm-free. And the liquid oils in this particular uh, soap, we have avocado oil, we have olive oil, and that is yeah it. And this bar was created and designed by my wholesale account. She wanted a uh, for her spring line she wanted two sort of you know alcohol based bars and so we did the orange mimosa and we also did a product that she calls the bees knees now neither one of these are available from me but I will put her info card in the or I'm sorry I'll put her information in the info card so you can you know check them out and buy them from her because she's she's great and she's awesome and you should definitely support her. She is one of the uh, eco warriors and one of the zero and you know a member of the zero waste movement and I love that. Now for this particular pour, it is an ombre and what I am doing for this particular ombre is I am taking the entirety of the soap batter, right? And it is already sort of you know white or creamy white by nature. And for each swipe into the mold, which is slanted there, as you can see with the ice cube trays, and for each particular swipe of the color, I am putting just a little bit more of the orange color blend. 
into the entirety of the of the soap and therefore just darkening up darkening it up a little bit at a time so each pore down the wall will be a little bit darker than the next and it will create a very subtle color change from the bottom which is white to the top which will be a very vibrant orange this particular scent this particular scent blend is it's a blood orange as well as some orange 10x and I have a little bit of eucalyptus and a little bit of bergamot in there to sort of brighten it up it's interesting bergamot and eucalyptus I found when you combine those two together it creates almost like a boozy smell and since we're doing an orange mimosa so it's an alcohol themed bar we are wanting the you know the boozy smell to come through a little bit not so much that you know you smell like you got drunk at 8 o'clock in the morning you know when you, when you show up to work or whatever but enough that you can smell this and go oh yeah that's that's an orange mimosa so yeah this is just me doing the uh, the thing and just gradually darkening the soap with each pass and so far so good right it's it's looking great I, I love this now I'm working in a bigger mold today because we are doing this for a wholesale account that ordered a quantity of bars right and so once when wholesale accounts you know order bars they usually order in fairly large amounts and so I can't do just the one little molds that you're sort of used to seeing at a time it would take me forever so it actually you know takes just as much time to make a big batch as it does to make a small batch and so we're, we're kind of making it work for this I haven't been using my big batch molds for you know videos up to this point because not because I don't use them but because it's easier to film the smaller like the one dozen bar batch than the larger molds but you know, whatever this actually seems to be working out pretty well so look at me working on the mangles I, I it seems a success now this bar will continue to darken up the uh, obviously you see it doing its, its darkening thing the more that we put you know color in between each swipes each swipe excuse me and it's perfect at this point it's really going really well the uh, the batter is staying nice and fluid which is allowing me to continue on with the ombre it's very important that you have a good fluid batter throughout this because you are doing a wall pour and so you sort of want the layer that you've poured against the wall to kind of push all the rest of the soap that's currently in the batter or in the, the mold excuse me to the other side now normally I'll keep doing this and I'll keep darkening the color but I decided with this particular pour to mix it up and instead of continuing to pour I thought I would switch the angle on the soap and start with white again and we'll put in the rest of the scent blend into this guy and uh, yeah, start with white over essentially the white and see what that does now this is like a uh, what is it called I, I think it's called like a tiger stripe design I would I would have to look it up I don't, I don't know to continue sort of changing the angle of the of the mold and how you you know position it with you know every you know two or three passes or whatever so it's similar to, to that I, I do think it's I think it's time straight but I'm again mixing this up because normally I would just continue adding more and more orange to the soap itself to create a really really dark vibrant orange at the end and that's not exactly what I'm doing here again I've, I've, I've kind of modified the, the pour and started over essentially in the middle of the bar so I'm interested to see what this does I, I think it'll be you know beautiful I think it'll really work out really well but you know I don't I, I don't know I literally decided this on the fly and we will see what what comes of it and we will continue darkening this soap you know over and over and over again until it's all gone and in the mold really and again this batter it's working out so beautifully it's a pretty perfect pour and I love that because <laughs> you never can tell with me and what I'm going to do or how I'm going to get distracted or 
you know, whatever. I, I can be a hot mess. But this particular pour has been gorgeous throughout. Now, a bit about wholesale soaps, right? I make custom bars for, I would say, 85% of my wholesale clients. So while they definitely order for my existing stock and they, you know, cover, they, they have those in their line as well, I really like the idea and therefore encourage the uh, whole idea of creating your own distinct soap that is intrinsically you. And these, and it sort of helps your, you know, company stand out from essentially my company because, yeah, while I'm the one that's making the soap, sure, so it's my recipes and it's my design and it's my, you know, whatever, it's your business that you're representing. So I really do encourage having at least one custom bar in your, your, your line that is just you. And it works out really well. I think a lot of people really love that and they take advantage of that because it's speaking to them, whether it's their own, you know, personal business colors, obviously it's all their logo, everything is stamped with their logo and, you know, not mine when it is a wholesale account, but it really does add, you know, some, in, some extra sort of personalization to the products that, that you're stocking in your line, which is perfect. Now, at this point, I'm going to take the mold all the way down to its bottom and pour the rest of the soap batter on top. And it's, it's quite dark at this point. I think I'm going to put one more pass of the, the dark, you know, the, the, the orange color into it and get it to its maximum sort of, you know, orange, oranginess before putting the rest in the mold. And that, at that point, it's just going to go kind of all over the place and we will give it a nice quasi, you know, decorative top. And then we will let it go through gel. Now, I, uh, I, I normally do not allow any of the audio that's, you know, going on in the shop while I'm actually doing the pour into the video. It doesn't usually make it into the video because I'm listening to music that's, you know, copyrighted and not that I am monetized, but I would get demonetized for sure if I posted that stuff. Um, be, Taylor Swift and Hamilton, th those are the things that I'm always listening to at the shop and it, it never changes. It's literally just those two things. That That's that's it. I have no range. I, I love Lin-Manuel Miranda and I, I love T-Swizzle and I'm a huge fan of both and so that's all that's ever playing. So for that reason I don't actually ever include any of the audio um, from the pour itself into in, in the videos. But for this case I feel like I need to because this is kind of the reaction that I get to such a beautiful pour and you're gonna hear it right now. Boom, baby! That was a beautiful pour. Yeah, that's uh, that's missing soap and clay during the actual pouring of the soap. So now we are on to day two. Um, the soap has firmed up overnight. We have sea popped it. We have gelled it. And notice the colors are not nearly as bright as they usually are. This is that racing stripe color that I think I've talked about before. It's it's sort of annoying, like, whatever. But anyway, yeah, but it's still beautiful. It's gorgeous and it's actually closer to an orange mimosa than what that super bright orange was. And oh, oh, look at that. You're so pretty. I, I love the, the sort of dark right there in the middle of the bar and then going back into into the light, which is kind of what you would see, you know, when you pour, you know, champagne into orange juice or orange juice and champagne or whatever, as they are not fully incorporating. And wow, yeah, no, you're you're pretty. This is a lovely batch of soap. I love everything about this. This is good. And yeah, and uh, there you have it. It's uh, day 25 of 365 days of soap, the orange mimosa soap. So there it is, the orange mimosa. 
Now, I love doing a good ombre pour. I super love the gradient pour. Then one of the big benefits for me is that you can do this particular gradient pour using just one bucket. And I love that. One bucket, one color. Gradually darken the color as you go through the pour to you know get that cool gradient ombre effect. And it's stunning at the end of the day. Now, as this is a custom order for a wholesale account, the soap is not available on my line. You cannot find it at soapandplay.com. But I'll go ahead and link the info to the company that does stock this bar and you can pick it up from them. As for me, you can find me on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. You can find me here on the YouTube and you should subscribe to the channel and do the things because it makes me happy and happy's good. And yeah, thanks so much for uh, coming and hanging out with us today for 365 days of soap. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you've continued to be along for the ride and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.